Welcome back. Well, new this morning, a restaurant that is bursting with personality, serving up fresh Florida flavors, has just opened in Central Florida. You might remember David Martin was there just a couple you of bet. months ago, and it's called Four Flamingos. It's open every night. It's at the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress, a beautiful hotel near Disney Springs, and there is something for everybody on the menu. And look who is joining us this morning. They have behind the restaurant celebrity chef Richard Blaze. Great to see you this morning. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Thanks it so much so for having me to see, see you. you. Yeah. It's been a while. Oh we my gosh! Say, we're like, I think you're only like our third guest to come in since the start of the pandemic. So, so happy to be here. I, I, I only have one complaint to register. I, okay. have a, I have a new show on Fox called Next Level Chef. We need the poster somewhere in oh, studio. Oh, yeah, we do yeah. Need the poster. And we got them all over the walls I in the know, hallway. I know. Okay. I want to be next to the Bob's Burgers poster <laughs> so bad. We're working on that. Okay. We're working on it. We right between Bob's and the Simpsons. That's <laughs> you. Is, That's you. Uh, so, listen, the restaurant is a huge hit. David was just there, so we got to see inside. Yes. Got to see. Tell me a little bit about how it's going so far. Oh, my gosh. The restaurant is going great. Uh, super, super busy right now. Uh, the food gets more delicious every single day. Uh, and we're just happy to see so many people in the restaurant. So I'm kind of blown away by the response. You know, we're cooking vintage Floridian food, great seafood, stone crabs. We got a swordfish chop, pasta. Um, but we're just making lots of people happy, and that's making me happy as well. So yeah, it's got to be fun. You create things, and you get to hear about how people like them afterwards. And really, I mean, that's why we're in the business, to just try and make people happy, right? And yeah. sort of share that joy that we get from cooking food. And uh, yeah, so far, things are going well. OK, let's talk about the cookbook. So yes. good. Yes. I love the oh name. My gosh. So, so good. My second cookbook. We're working on the third right now. You can actually, the book is just out of print because it's been so popular. That's um, so great. That's you can a good only, problem You can really only get the book at Four Flamingos. So wow. that's one way to get it. Um, but yeah, I'm just li living an amazing, like we get to make cookbooks. We get to hang out with you. We're doing TV shows. And we're all, and we're cooking delicious food every single day. And what else do you have over here? Uh, so this was, uh, this was my big pandemic play right here, the Richard Blaze sauce line when I was sitting in my backyard grilling meat every day, yeah. worrying. Oh my gosh, I was right? like, you know what, why not just launch a sauce line? So you, again, you can buy these at the restaurant for Flamingos or you can get them online at threshersauce.com. They're sort of inspired by traditional barbecue sauces and actually Four Flamingos has one flavor that's unique just for the restaurant. Nice. That's a yacht sauce. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. I want to talk about the pressure of doing a television show, right? Sure. Because when you go into the business, right, you're just like, what are we, what are we doing here, right? I mean, this was like <laughs> yeah. a little bit foreign to you in the beginning and the now, beginning. It's, now it yeah. probably it's just like oh yeah I know what I'm doing I'm good Right? Um, yeah, I mean, I was practicing teleprompter reads before you came up. So, <laughs> so, so, so um, yeah, it is. It is weird because you know you, you grow up and you're cooking and you're in the kitchen and you're not in front of even guests in the restaurant. You're somewhere in the back cooking, right. right? And then all of a sudden, there's a camera in front of your face. What I realized is it's the same thing that I was talking about. Making people happy on TV or performing is the same as cooking. Like it's the same result. So I fell in love with being, uh, you know, in front of the camera as well. And you know, being being on TV with Gordon Ramsay's not. A bad oh, it's great. Either. It's yeah. great. Okay, so Gordon, yeah. like, all right, so I've interviewed him a few times, sure. right? And, and he's not nearly as, you know, mean and crusty as everybody makes him out today. <laughs> what, what is he really like? First of all, I'm not going to call him crusty. Um, <laughs> yeah, those are Amy's words. <laughs> like, like you said, here's the thing he's as intense behind the scenes as he is. In, you know, on, on camera as well. Yeah. I and mean, that's what just great people are like that, whether it's great athlete, great business person, great chefs. But yeah, he's a, he's a nice guy. He's, he he's, he's gorgeous. You can, and you see that now on TikTok, actually. His TikTok is fantastic. He's really funny. I did get him to show me his abs once on television. I oh, won't wow. do that to you. But because I don't have any, so I'm glad. I'm really glad that that's not going to happen. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. I was like, oh gosh, he really is going to do it. And he lifted his shirt up, wow. and there it was. Not that I compete with him, but we do on Next Level Chef, and I might not have the abs. I have scored in Rams yet, but I have run six marathons. Really? Yeah, so like really? we, we're, we're gonna run our seventh New York Nobody City marathon. Can say that. That Not too many. Impressive. Gordon's one of the only other few wow. that can say that. He's done a, tri a triathlon actually. But okay, so which marathons have you done? I've done only New York six times, and I'm about to run my seventh in the yeah, fall. Come run a Disney yes. for us. We have. Oh, I actually yes. have always wanted to run the Disney yeah. one because you get to dress up, don't you? Next oh, year. Yes. 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 Who's, who's gonna be your character? Oh, I, I think it's probably gonna be in this. In the you know, I think it's Dopey? gonna be in the Star Wars universe. No, Star, yeah, okay, Star Wars. No, no, that's okay. I mean, at least. <laughs> but listen, you know what I'd rather do? I mean, I do want to run that marathon. I want to ride in the thunder truck. <gasps> Richard Blaze in the thunder truck. We're going to make this yeah. happen. Okay, that has to happen. You we got to bring Blaze it back from Oveto, thunder. though. Yes, that's yeah. perfect. We get, we, we get some liquid nitrogen on it. We do some liquid we'll nitrogen. We let you control the radio inside of <gasps> there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There we go. What that kind works. of music you like? Whatever they like to play on the thunder truck. <laughs> See how that works? I like that. It's, it's just ACDC. That's it. <laughs> thunder. Well, congrats on the restaurant, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're awesome.
awesome. We loved having and you. And we'll that see you soon in Four Flamingos, I hope, oh, right? We'll be there. All I right. can't wait. That's the only place to get the cookbook, so I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. All right, Jamie, we're going to send it back to you.